I will be very brief. And um, the thing that, that I want to discuss here is that we need, need as we need uh, for different reasons, a new green deal, we also need three new deals on the city. The first is a new deal on data. We, as women, uh, we haven't been part of this conversation, and we are going to be the most affected by the data extractivism around us, not only uh, by our devices that we all carry and that we conduct practically our lives into, but by, and this is very interesting because it's very invisible, by all the sensors a city has. It doesn't matter the divide anymore. A poor city, a rich city, is we are surrounded by what I call this new form of pollution, often invisible, that is tracking everywhere we go, every mo movement we, we make, and that is uh, tracking behavior, especially of the marginalized and the most marginal communities. If we, if we depart that our society is rich by difference, and to exist is somehow to be different, these technologies and the way they, th those are coded go against this. They go uh, by the principle of uniform behavior, where uh, different behavior, but different cultures, by different ways and rhythms of life is an anomaly that should be like monitored even close, closer. And it also, it, it is, uh, why do we need a new deal on data? It is not just uh, control, but it's important, and it, uh, control is a very important element. Uh, Shoshana Zuboff, a very important scholar on the topic, says that any technology that can be used for surveillance and control will be used for surveillance and control. And, and power, you know what power does to women. And unless we have really ethical, uh, uh, we cannot guarantee that our governments will always be ethical and in, at the interests of people. So this collection of data growing and growing and us not having a voice on how it will be used, it, it is putting ourselves in a very vulnerable position in the city. So, um, but I, I will say that it's not only the surveillance technologies and the, and the te underlying technologies that will later develop these automated systems. Because very soon, instead of you arguing with the police, will be you arguing with the machine. And we know that we, you cannot, it is already hardly enough to argue with a bureaucrat, <laughs> with a racist bureaucrat, when, when the racism is baked into the system, you, can, you really cannot argue and that you can really not audit that. Are we being consulted on those technologies? No. The, it is, uh, and this is the most dangerous thing, and a point that we, I want everyone here to remember. Uh, women's safety and security is being used as an excuse to deploy these technologies. And, uh, and uh, we should be using those public funds because it's very, very expensive. Do you have better parks for our children, better, better places for us to learn skills? Uh, like, uh, it is... Um, this uh, populist uh, discourse on safety based on technologies of surveillance and control should be eradicated from the feminist city. And uh, I, will, I, will, I will just will mention something to illustrate the point. Mariel Franco, a politician from Brazil, from Rio de Janeiro, one of the cities under the highest surveillance in the world, was assassinated just around the cor corner of one of the most sophisticated surveillance centers that any city in the world has. And so it is not to defend women, it is not to protect women, it's to control, basically. It's to control and it will be used against resistance and it will be used against those who uh, identify as anomalies, activists, those resisting um, authoritarian power. The second, uh, so we need not only a new deal on data and use data in our favor and take uh, back the control of our data, but we need to eradicate that discourse uh, from our vocabulary. Cameras it, it does not equate security for women. The second thing, um, the second new deal that I want is a new deal on space. I want where those sensors are, where those cameras are deployed. I want my municipal authority to ask, ask me first 
ask me first and have a proper consultation early enough before those, our public space is sold to Silicon Valley companies or our public space is sold to marketing companies that will monitor our movements so to sell us more stuff. So it has the security dimension and the commercial dimension and I, th I think that we need an urgent conversation about that and we need a voice and a vote on ho how those technologies are deployed. Thank you. Thank you.